Today, we're in one of San Diego's most central communities, Mira Mesa, and there's so much to this area. So we're gonna cover the location, we're gonna cover why people live here, we're gonna tell you about the different pockets of neighborhoods here, and at the very end, I wanna tell you exactly why people choose not to live here and all the cons that are associated with it. So if you're interested in learning about Mira Mesa, you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned. So we're here at a nice, beautiful park on a Sunday afternoon, and let me tell you, it's one of the most relaxing things you can do. It's one of the things that appeal to a lot of people here in Mira Mesa. You can do pretty much all of it. You, if you wanna go shopping, you have the shopping centers nearby. If you wanna to go to the beach, the beaches are only 15 to 20 minutes away. It's extremely central when you think of Mira Mesa. And a lot of people who live here work in these biotech centers. So they either work in Serrano Valley, La Jolla, Carmel Valley, or maybe all throughout the county, but you're just so centrally located where hopping on the 15 freeway is just a few minutes away. And one of the pros of having a family and living here is that you have easy access to all the parks, the rec centers, you really don't have to go anywhere else. When it comes to Mira Mesa, you cannot beat the location. It's so freaking beautiful here. And I'm telling you guys, like all of the clients that I've shown here have wanted this location for a very long time. And I think it's just going to get even more desirable as time goes on. One of the things that people love about Mira Mesa is that it's very diverse. Families that I've helped here have loved the fact that they're gonna be ingrained in a lot of different cultures. I'll tell you, just from driving down the streets, you can tell just from the shopping centers, the different restaurants that are available, that this is a community that focuses on all the differences and all the cultures that, that are here to offer. And personally, I think that it's one of the environments where if you want to be immersed in that culture, you'll get it here. There's tons of activities for your kids to do. There's tons of local events. There's people from all places throughout the world. And I think diversity is one of the things that Mira Mesa has to offer. Diversity is what brings a lot of people here from all across the world to go visit Mira Mesa. So if you're looking for diversity, it's here. Don't go anywhere else. Don't go north, don't go south. Just look at Mira Mesa as a whole. And I've sold plenty of homes here and I can tell you that a lot of the people that I've met have come from a variety of different places, from Mexico to Philippines to Guam to just anywhere. And it's, it's so crazy to, to connect with these people and it's so friendly, it's so family oriented. So if you're looking for diversity, you cannot go wrong with Mira Mesa. Who would this be ideal for? I mean, young professionals are starting to really pick up on Mira Mesa. They get their townhomes, their condos, they live in it for a few years until they're ready to have you know, their families and then they buy into a home. And the thing is, for a lot of young professionals is you get the accessibility, like I mentioned earlier in the video, that you get the accessibility to Serrano Valley, Carmel Valley, to La Jolla, to anywhere in San Diego. It's not just the fact that you get to go to work, but you get to go access all the best parts of San Diego. It's literally 15 to 20 minute drive anywhere else. So why wouldn't you choose Mira Mesa? Then we have families who obviously are looking for, if you're looking for diversity, Mira Mesa is great. Families are looking for, you know, family-friendly places where you have great school districts. Mira Mesa has that. So it's perfect for the family that's looking for, hey, I want a nice-sized home and a nice-sized lot. Well, I've seen plenty of homes here in Mira Mesa that fits the bill. Sure, is it a little bit more on the pricier end? Yes, absolutely. But when you're looking in comparison to other places like Serrano Valley, Carmel Valley, La Jolla, it's so much more expensive. So Mira Mesa is like that affordable option, but also ticks off all the boxes. And sure, there are some things that are work in progress, but that work in progress, you know, that's done over years of time. One of the things about Mira Mesa is you kind of have to give up a little bit to be able to enjoy the space. And that's how I've always mentioned it to clients. If you're looking in Mira Mesa, just know that you're looking for something that could have potential. It's not the ultimate best thing when it comes to like luxurious finishes. You know, obviously Mira Mesa as a whole is still growing. And the cool thing about Mira Mesa is there's so many exciting changes when it comes to the neighborhood. They're proposing eight urban villages. You heard that right. Eight urban villages where they're gonna 
try to transform Mira Mesa, and I say try because, I mean, a lot of things that are proposed don't go the way that they're planned. They're trying to make it more commuter friendly. They're trying to make it more walkable. The congestion when you go into Mira Mesa is definitely one of the things that people notice as soon as they come in. So these eight urban villages are essentially gonna help people walk along the areas where they can go out with their kids, where they can go shopping around, where they can go without having the need for a car. And developers right now are being incentivized here by the city, hey, we're gonna give you money, give it that appeal to people. Give them what they want as far as walkability goes, as far as not needing to drive around. And I'll, I'll say, it's pretty exciting to see this. So it's gonna happen over the next 10 to 15 years. They're gonna build out these urban villages. It's expected to add about 50,000 more people to the population. And if you ask some people, some people will say it's congested, other people will say it's kind of, you know, it's, it's not too bad, but it just depends in what part of Mira Mesa, where you're at. So in the future, I see Mira Mesa really turning into one of these communities like Sorrento Valley, Carmel Valley, like its neighbors. What happens is all that change that's happened in those areas tends to go east. So, in 15, 20 years, we could be talking about Mira Mesa being in the millions range. Right now, it's the single family homes are pretty expensive. And I think that just with all the development that they're proposing to do, all the changes, and as families are starting to move into these places and young professionals are starting to crowd over to these places, the prices are just gonna go up. So that's just one thing to consider when it comes to the exciting changes. When it comes to Mira Mesa, there is a love-hate relationship with it. A lot of people love it and a lot of people hate it and it's kind of divided into the middle. People who live here tend to love it a little bit more than they hate it, because obviously they're living here. Um, so I'll just kind of wrap up the cons and tell you exactly what people don't like. The congestion of traffic, especially during like Monday through Friday from seven to 10, it's the absolute worst. You get nonstop street lights, you get tons of people trying to go to work, all the craziness. If you work early, just consider yourself lucky because you'll avoid all the things that have to do with traffic and the cars and the crazy driving that could potentially affect you here in Mira Mesa. Another thing is these homes, a lot of people see them as cookie cutter. They were built in the 60s, the 50s and 60s. And when you think of Mira Mesa, Mira Mesa used to be a site where the military actually used to test their bombs at. It, it's crazy. So when they started to develop this place, they made these homes look a lot alike. And you can tell that as soon as you drive through. So a lot of these homes are three bedroom, one bathrooms, and you're like, who thought that was functional? Well, back in the 60s, they thought that's what people needed, just one bathroom for all of the family. Nowadays, we're spoiled. We want two bathrooms. We want a half bathroom for the guests. Um, but just know when you're moving to Mira Mesa, you're gonna find a lot of these very interesting layouts. You're gonna find homes that might not have the necessary bathrooms for the size of home that you're getting. I think that overall, Mira Mesa is a great place. I love it. Another thing that people don't like about Mira Mesa is that there's no really continuity when it comes to the neighborhood. So you drive through and you're you're like, oh, this is a really nice pocket. But then you go to the next street over and it's crappy. I, it, just for lack of a better word, it's really not the place where you can see yourself living in. And that's because of overgrown yards. That's because people don't you know, keep up on their homes. They don't really care for the nice updates. And it, you know, it, it is a different generation. I mean, a lot of people here tend to have this be the, like, the last place they'll ever live. So a lot of these homeowners have owned these properties for the last, I mean, 50, 60 years. And it takes a little while for, for them to pass it through the family and things of that sort. So you'll, you'll notice that some pockets are just generally older. They just don't want to conform to what's going on in today's world, right? Where we're updating things, where we're looking at new homes, which I mean, I don't really have an opinion. It just is what it is. It's their property. Who am I to judge? But like I mentioned, a lot of people don't like that. They, they drive through neighborhoods and they're expecting like, if I'm gonna pay a million dollars for this house, I should expect a nice upkept yard. I should expect, you know, something of the sort where neighbors are maintaining their thing. So that's probably one of the biggest cons when I've come driving through here. So, you know, a lot of people hate HOAs, 
But HOAs exist for a reason, and HOAs exist primarily for the purpose to upkeep the neighborhood, to keep its values, to protect the people in, within it, to have, and a lot of people see it as like, I'll do whatever I want with my property. Well, we've seen in other places in San Diego where doing whatever you want can really affect its value. It, it, you have apartment buildings right next to single family homes. Like, what are we doing here? So HOAs do play a part. There's not so many here in Mira Mesa. And it's clear just by the homes and how they're built. And there's really, like I mentioned, no continuity. There's no like home or neighborhood that you can say, oh, every home looks the same. So just in general, just know that about Mira Mesa. So Mira Mesa has been that area that's been known as being one of the more affordable areas. Uh, 10 to 15 years ago, homes here were priced in the three to 400,000 range. And it was a nice place where you can just start a family. It's like starter homes where it's a, a relatively at an affordable price where you could watch your kids grow up and then eventually move to a different area. But nowadays, you know, since all the traffic we've had from people moving from all parts of the world to Mira Mesa or, and to San Diego in general, I've noticed that it's picked up a whole bunch and the prices have skyrocketed. So if you're looking at housing here, just know that the housing is going to start closer to the million dollar range. Just, let's say, three bedroom, two bath. Probably averages about a million if you're looking for something nice, fixed up, renovated. If you're looking for a fixer, of course, it can always be lower. But, I mean, you're going to be paying, in the end, almost a million with the updates, with what you're doing, um, competing with others. And there's not many people that are actually moving in here. It, it was surprising to me is that there's not a whole lot of people moving out of here. Um, a lot of people like the location. They're, they're stuck at a really good rate. So they're like, you know, we're gonna stay for a while. A lot of young professionals live in condos, townhomes, which can range between four, five, six hundreds. And 400 would be the very low end, probably a fixer property that has carpets, that needs a lot of updates, that needs paint. And then there's townhomes here and it's, it's very unique. It's, it's a nice little mixture, but even in the townhome and condo space, there isn't anything available. I mean, these things are getting picked up so freaking quickly. So it just really depends on what you're looking for. So if you're a young professional um, looking for a condo and townhome, just know that it could take a while to find the right place and competing with others. If you're a family looking for a single family home like the homes behind me, you're competing with other families because now the cat's out of the bag. Mira Mesa is a really cool place to live. To wrap it all up on the housing portion, you're looking anywhere between the low 400,000 for a one bedroom, all the way up into the millions for something that's nice and spacious and renovated. If you're getting a lot of value from this video or any video for that matter on my channel, feel free to like and subscribe and then check out my resources. I'm giving it to you guys for free. So if you're looking to buy a home, go check those things out. If you're looking for community-based content, we have a Facebook group. We have so many different platforms. We have Instagram, we have LinkedIn. Guys, follow me on there because I give a lot more actionable tips, resources, whatever you need to make your move to San Diego. One of the local businesses we're gonna try out is T, I don't even know if I'm gonna pronounce this right, Tian Huang, that's how I pronounce it. Let's go walk this way. The thing about Mira Mesa is that it's very influenced by Asian culture and Asian cuisine, and I absolutely love it. We're gonna go grab some pho. We're gonna go check out this place. Um, there's so many different plazas throughout Mira Mesa where you can pick up a bite to eat, have a good time. We're here on a Sunday, and uh, we're gonna enjoy it. Recover from the weekend, from the, lo from the long work week that we've had ahead of us. Dude, it's so packed right now. It's so packed. Uh, so we're probably gonna go to the Taiwanese spot. Let's go check out the Taiwanese spot. Never had Taiwanese food. It's crazy. Have you had Taiwanese food before? Nope. No. I'm sure you guys haven't either. So it's the first time we'll try it. Guys, this has been steaming for the last 30 minutes. So good. How do you like it, Eric? It's fantastic. Absolutely. 10 out of 10, would recommend. Is this your first time trying Taiwanese food? Mm -hmm. Yep. What do you think about Mira Mesa? I like it. I feel like it's a very cute little place. Um, not only that, but it's very quiet, which I like. Very peaceful. Nice. 
All right, guys, we're finishing off here at the Tasty Pot. Super delicious. It's starting to get packed. We came right at the right time, right before the lunch craziness that Mira Mesa has when people have their free time off. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, you subscribe, you check out all of our other resources that we have for free in the description, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.